<laughs> Welcome to ESC Fan TV. We're right in the middle of the national final season, and we haven't yet concentrated on songwriters. Well, we're going to put that right today. I'm absolutely delighted to welcome hit makers and Swedish superstars, <laughs> Linda and Ilva Persson. Hello, Linda. Hello. 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 Nice to be here. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Nicholas is going to take us through and ask you some questions. We want to find out more about you and what, what you're up to. But we do know that what you're up to this weekend is MGP, the Norwegian semi-final number five, mm -hmm. and you're entering with a song. We are as one sung by Ellen in the Woods. Let's have yes. a little listen to that song now. Yes, what a great song. Definitely one we're looking forward to seeing live. We will get back to that song very soon. We'll also let you, everyone know here how to get involved, how to vote. But first of all, I want to say hello to you two. Uh, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. Hello. Nice to be here. Yeah, it's really great. So I know that you two have written a lot of, of Eurovision songs. Do you know how many songs you've had in national finals? Yes, actually, it's... It's 47 songs now, uh, this year, total, in total, with the song we have tomorrow. So, mm, and in 18 countries. In 18. That's really yeah. cool. It's very yeah. impressive as well. Oh, thank you. Thank like, you. How, how did you even get into Eurovision? What, what was like your first, uh, first introduction to Eurovision? I well, think, I think, yeah, you go, Eva. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think that, <laughs> that we've always been interested in, in uh, Melody Festival and Eurovision and listened to the songs since we were children. But then uh, we started sending songs our own to Melody Festivalen. And after this, I think about 10 years ago, we competed in uh, the Web Joker for Melody Festivalen. Hmm. And uh, about after that, we, we wanted to try in different countries as well. So that's how it started, I would say. Yeah, and and yeah. Eurovision has always been a passion. Melody Festivalen as well, since we were young, I, I don't know, seven years old. We started writing songs around 10 years old. So it's an inspiration, this contest. I can imagine. I know like everything with Eurovision Melody Festival is a big thing in Sweden. So I can imagine there's a lot of lot of like young people who has that interest, who would love to, you know, go there someday. But like what what made you decide really like, OK, this is what we want to do, like write these songs? I think it, it was listening to the songs on Eurovision all these years and just get the inspiration to write. I mean, we've, we've always been singing and it was natural for us. Songs just mm. come to us and, and we stop writing them. And we play the piano as well. Yeah, so mm -hmm. you, have a, you have a lot going. And like you've said, you've participated in many, what was it 18 different national selections you said? Yeah. I don't what? know how many national selections, but it's been 47 songs and in 18 countries. So, and it's been, yeah. uh, you know, everything from auditions to semifinals to finals. So, mm -hmm. it's really great. What's, like, what's the great thing with sending these songs, like, to just, like, all over Europe? Oh, it's, I don't know. It's, it's a, I think it's mostly about the music, that we love the music. And, and it's exciting to also send and to take part in these TV selections to have our songs on a TV broadcast. That's yeah, it's a window. It, it's a window for our songs in these mm -hmm. TV selections. I mean, we do other releases as well, but this is special, and mm -hmm. and uh, the, they they get attention. The songs get attention. And I can imagine it's also exciting to be able to share your music all over the world. Yeah. Yes, of course. Yeah. Of course. Mm -hmm. So do you, do you have like a favorite national selection or are all of them just great to participate in? I think one of the favorite must be Moldova in 2013. The first time for us. It was special. We went there as backing vocalists as well and as composers with Inaya, if you remember. Mm -hmm. I Need You Now, that mm -hmm. song, the first one. It was special, yeah. you know, and going there as well, traveling there, and taking part, mm -hmm. very special. Yeah. I can imagine that's 
I think also we, yeah. we, we were in uh, in Belarus a few years ago with Jeanette, and that was also special. We came second by the jury and also third in Moldova a couple of years ago with Duenita. So I think it's it's hard to say which one is best, but uh, always when we have gone as backing vocalists, it's been a special occasion. For us. Yeah, yeah, that sounds yeah. that sounds really cool. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, we have a we have a question here from yeah. Ellie. So it's like, <laughs> after writing so many songs, how do you keep your songwriting changing and involving for your own artistry? Oh, I think you know we get inspired by pop music, by chart music, and. Uh, we have to keep involving with our music. I think it's we work with different artists, with different producers, and uh, I mean, it, yeah. Can you fill in, Ilva, something? Yeah, yeah. Maybe that also. Other artists are asking for uh, certain types of songs, and then we try to write those type of songs. Mm. Yeah, and but, and, mm. and following along with that is it. Dif different writing a song for let's say an artist in Moldova than for an artist in Norway. I, I we don't write for like Moldova or Norway. We write Eurovision songs or pop yeah. songs, and mm. then they end up somewhere. Yeah. So, <laughs> sometimes it's a long journey before they come to Norway. Like last time we were in in Nordic country it was four years ago, so mm. it takes time. So mm. it's not like that. I think many artists nowadays they also like a type. Eurovision artists they like uh, similar type of music. So, yeah. but that's, yeah, yeah, that's so a we good write point. good I think songs. A lot of, <laughs> I think a lot of people just don't really know how this process is when it comes to like sending these songs in. Maybe you could just like quickly try to explain for people who don't know how to actually like get into these national finals. Yeah. I for us, we work uh, all around the world, all around the year, to to find artists, to write songs, and I don't know, it's a hard work. <laughs> yeah, it's hard daily work, work uh, yeah. to do it and to to keep going and also find cooperations, also with other musicians and producers and things like that. So it, it has to be a big interest, I think, mm. to make it happen. Yeah, I can definitely yeah. imagine. Yeah, and sometimes I mean we're always interested in getting tips and advice on artists that yes. for next year mm. if you have any uh, like emails or names of artists you can just tell us because we need the advice mm. it's hard to know who will succeed even if we find artists ourselves so any any tips are welcome for for next year mm. 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 That's very interesting, and, and mm. also I just I have to point this out. What Elias has said. Another question here is: As siblings, do you ever disagree or clash over your musical ideas for a song? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> maybe maybe usually Linda comes up with maybe a, a chorus, and I come up with a verse, and we try to match it together or mm. lyrics. So, but of course we are we are um, sometimes we disagree. And we need mm. to, uh, for it to, to be a song together. Mm. We always want to be part of the song, both of us. Mm. So, yeah, that yeah. that makes good sense. But I mean, we have another question here. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite national final to watch? Oh, um, Sweden. I think Sweden. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of people, a lot of people on ESC Fan TV can agree with that. But I mean, like you've said, you write a lot of songs, and sometimes it works out. Let's mm. just, for those who don't know, what songs do you have in national selections this year? Yeah, we have seven songs this year, and we have three now in the final. Hopefully, one more tomorrow if we're lucky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we have uh, three songs in Belarus, uh, and one in the final, and it's Invisible with Anastasia. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, three songs in Moldova and two in the final. And that's Like a Champion with Dennis Midone and mm -hmm. Remedy with Viorela Moraru. So we're very happy about these finalists. And, and actually, we worked really hard this year, like all December and January, just for these Belarus and Moldova, because the rules came out really late in December. And like, oh, now, now we must go, because they didn't, mm. did, they didn't say that they were going to have national selections until very late. Mm. And then we have this song in Norway tomorrow, which is We Are As One with Alien in the Woods. Yeah. In the semifinal. Yes. Mm. And, and you we're can, very excited. You can find all our songs on, uh, our, on our channel, on our YouTube channel. And also we have a Spotify playlist. So most of them, well, not, uh, not champion, like a champion is not out on Spotify, but the rest of them. 
else. Yes, and you also have your your previous attempts, I can imagine, on those playlists. Yeah, we yeah. have. Yes, yeah, for sure. Mm. So if, if anyone is interested, definitely go look there. We will, of course, be linking to it once this uh, live stream. So we will be linking to it in the video description. So if you are watching this after it's been live, we do have all the links there. But of course, in some of these countries, it is a little bit hard for viewers like us to just like, you know, help along. But a place where we can help along is in Norway. So I want to go a little bit more into detail there. First of all, why did you decide to send in a song to the Norwegian selection? Or even more, has it always been a dream to take part in the Norwegian selection? It's been a dream. It's been something we wanted for many years and we've been trying for a long time, actually. Yeah. And uh, it's always very special with a Nordic country. It's one step closer to Sweden, I think. <laughs> and it was four <laughs> years ago last time. So we're, we're really happy to be here in the semifinal tomorrow. Really, really happy. Yes, mm. it's exciting. And I mean, we've talked about the Norwegian shows a lot here on ESC Fan TV. We reviewed the song on Wednesday and it it went pretty well, I'd say. I'd say there was a lot of love for the song. And even a few of us said that this could be the one going to the finals. So it's going mm. to be very interesting to see. We have Stuart here who says, <laughs> yeah, I think it will win yeah. Saturday. So, we hope so. definitely, we hope so. definitely a, a big good luck. But Ellen in the Woods in the song, we are as one, is that what it's called? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, what is what is the meaning of the song? Like, what does it mean to you? Mm -hmm. I think from the beginning, this song uh, was in, uh, inspired by the Finnish song. I don't know if you remember, we competed in 2015 in Finland, mm -hmm. the Solu and Hold Your Colors. So this song was written after that one. So we had in mind the Joik and Ethno mm -hmm. and folk pop. And uh, the lyrics, I think it talks for itself. We are as one. It's about being who you are, true to yourself and uh, true to your values. We have the lyrics, uh, born without a name, different, but we're still the same, if you've noticed it. So yes. that's what it's about. And, and like, we are all one, we're connected, we're different. But despite that, you should always shine your own light and stay true to yourself. That's I think meaning. it's a really great it's a really great message to get out there especially in these like social media times where people can sometimes be afraid to be themselves. I think yeah. this is great to get out there. You mentioned a little bit with the yoking and everything. What is it you think that makes this like northern sound so special because I know a lot of Eurovision fans really love this sound. Yeah, actually we sent this song with another artist than Ellen <laughs> and the Woods. So in the demo there was another artist, but then uh TV pick this song and we started working and finished the song after it was selected. So it was quite a different uh, type of working with for Eurovision than we usually do. Uh, but I think that really they are really great artists and uh, suitable for this song. So, so I think it will be really amazing uh, tomorrow, uh, the act and everything. So. Mm. Yeah, I think yeah. we're all very excited to see it live, definitely see how it'll shine on stage. And yeah. what's it been like? Because I don't know how much you've then been involved with the process with Ellen and the Woods, but how has it been working working with them? We've been working with Robin for some years, actually. Uh, so he's a great producer and, you know, now it all turned out well here in uh, Norway. And we were just hoping for it to come. And, and he knows Ellen from before their group, so... I mean, we believe in them. They're great people, both of them. And, and we're sure they will do a great performance on stage. Yeah. Yeah, they seem like a, they seem like a great fit uh, for the song as well. I just want to bring up one comment here as well from Elliot. What potential do you see Ellen the Woods having if it wins the whole show and represents Norway in Rotterdam? It's a big question, I know. <laughs> but... <laughs> Try and answer it the best you can. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we have dreams to go to Rotterdam and, and we've been competing so much, Silva and I. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it would be a dream come true and, and their potential. I think, I mean, uh, Norway has had Joik before and it did, it did great, right? Mm -hmm. In the in the final. So mm -hmm. we think that this has big potential. And, and this is a special song for us. I mean... This is one of our best songs, actually, that we've, that we've written. And it's, it comes, it came from our hearts and we want to give this to Rotterdam. That's mm. what we want to do. Mm. 
But first of all, it needs to get through uh, the ears of the Norwegian public. I yes. thought it would be great now that we have the chance here, because for those who don't know, it is actually possible for everyone all around Europe to participate and take part in the voting in the Norwegian national selection. So maybe you could like go through how people actually go in and vote, because maybe some people don't know that they can do that. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's it's quite easy. Everyone from every country can uh, vote online. You just log in to the uh, TV page, and you create an account, and then you log in. And tomorrow at 8 p.m., uh, when the live broadcasting will be, uh, you can vote by clicking a button called STEM three times on this song. Uh, so everyone can do it. And hmm. we'll be really grateful for your help. So yes, and I can... Is. I can promise it's very easy because I've been voting in all the semifinals and I think it took me like five minutes to sign up just before the show and everything was ready. So there's there's no reason not to vote. That's all I want to say at yeah, least. Yeah. Um, so we have a we have a question here from, from Stuart. Out of all the 40 or so Eurovision-related songs, which one has been the one you've been the most proud of? Oh, I, th I think <laughs> we have several. I mean, we're proud of all songs, actually, but I think my, maybe most proud of the ones that came second and third. Uh, Iceland, for example, and uh, Belarus. Uh, um, you will be here. Uh, you will be here. Mm -hmm. And and uh, and of course, uh, Dancing Flames with Duenita. Mm -hmm. I think we're most proud of because we were there on stage and everything. That's also, fin also Finland. Uh, Finland, yeah. Audio mm -hmm. Colors, it's a favorite mm -hmm. of our songs as well. But all but, songs mean a lot to us, no matter yeah. how it goes. I mean, it's a contest and you never know. No, mm. it's unpredictable. Mm. That's mm. true. So, like, does I, I, of course, of course, you want to go to Eurovision, of course, this, but like, even if your results weren't always that great, do you think you would ever stop writing these songs or it's just, just like too much of part of you that you would just never be able to really let it go? I think that I, we will always go on mm. uh, as long as this competition works as it is today. Mm. If something changes and it's not as easy as a foreign uh, composer to take part, maybe then things will change for us. But uh, for now, we will keep going for sure. Mm. Right song. That sound, sounds yeah. great. Also, Elliot is back here. Uh, I think he wants you to prota lite svenska. Ah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, jätteroligt att vara här på denna intervju. Och du kan ju också svenska, eller hur? Så att vi kan. Du kan ställa en fråga. Jag pratar inte det bästa svenska. Du kan ställa en fråga. Ja, ställ en fråga. Vi kan berätta hur man mm. röstar, kanske. Ja, det, det kan vi göra. Ja. Mm. Så om man vill rösta då imorgon så loggar man in på nrk.no och skapar ett konto där och eh, imorgon klockan åtta på kvällen så kan man rösta under sändningen och det gör man genom att klicka på en knapp som heter stäm tre gånger. Mm. Så? Mal spännande. Jag kan måske lige si i kulissi sån hej till alla de skandinaviska seer för jag vet vi har någon här på kanalen. Ja, kul. Jättekul. Så so, so hej till hej till från Skandinavien. Ja, hej till alla från Skandinavien. <laughs> And we just we have to put this comment up from uh, from Gustav from Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that is a good or a bad thing, but we'll take it as a good thing. <laughs> yeah, a compliment. Yeah. Mm. A compliment, yes. Mm. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> So, so I think I think we're we're going to to wrap it up here. But we're definitely very excited to to like see the song being performed. And mm -hmm. for from all of us here at ESC Fan Interview, we would just like to say a big thank you for for taking part in this little interview here today. Thank you very thank much you for having us. Thank you. Thank and you very much, maybe we could just maybe we could just quickly like. Tell us your Instagram, your Facebook. Where can people find you if they if they want to mm -hmm. follow your Eurovision journey? Yeah, you should go to our YouTube channel. It's Ilva Linda One Voice, and we also have the Spotify playlist. It's if you search for Ilva and Linda Music on Spotify, you find the whole list of all our all our Eurovision songs. And then Instagram, Ilva Linda. Yeah, yeah. That That's sounds it. good. <laughs> Over to Andy. <laughs> Ilva Linda, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, Nicholas. You. Thank you very thank much. It's been thank a you. wonderful half an hour chatting to you. Yeah. And the very yes, best it's been really great. Tomorrow. And the very best of luck in the final 
I've met yeah, thank you. Great. And the very best of luck in the Eurovision final. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, thanks, thanks for voting for us. And yeah. peace a lot to us. So mm. thank you very much for Good doing luck. this. Mm. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.